Hi everybody, this is Andrew Duncan. One of the things we do a lot is write charts here at church. Uh, and here I have a chart for Come Ye Sinners Poor and Needy. We've kind of updated it with some uh, so a different guitar riff that we've put in here. So I've, I've got the chart finished. I've been in Panorama View in Sibelius 7. And now it comes time to actually making something that I can print out and put out on the stands for the musicians or put up in planning center so they can uh, put it on music stand. So anyway, here's what it looks like right now if I get out of Panorama. So you can see right now we've got one, two, and bleeding over into three pages with some, uh, with some problems as well, some collisions. Uh, so what we're going to deal with today is basically how do you get this music to fit on two pages, or how do you how do you manipulate this stuff to where it really is clear? It's uh, showing good stewardship to your band members by not forcing them to deal with awkward page turns. You know, this is all part of our ministry as uh, as music ministers is to make sure that we've removed obstacles to the way of worship. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the tools we use. Sibelius has, of course, some built-in layout tools up here. I'm in the, the layout part of the ribbon. And if you go over here, you see uh, some handy things. Make into system and make into page. You know, we could be really blunt and select all down here and say, you know, make it one page. And it will literally do that. And as you can see, that's definitely not what we want to do. That's completely unreadable. Uh, so we're not going to do that. Uh, but I could actually go in here and say, you know, I think this much would fit on a page. So I can go in here, hit that, and now we've got that forced into one page. And that seems to work okay. Uh, doing that, I now have two staves that are left over on this page three that I need to figure out how to deal with. Uh, and we have some room here. But let's, let's actually not do just the, the make into a page because I think we also have some room here horizontally that we could squeeze in as well. So I'm going to undo that little thing here. So let's take this much. So we've got three bars here. Let's grab at least four and see if we can make that just tighten up just a little bit. One, two, three, four. Now I've got basically my intro on two lines. And it's tight for that lead line here. So uh, you know, I'm not so sure that I like this. Let's actually undo that undo the other thing. Let's make this actually five measures here so that we kind of get that a little bit more room on the second part. I don't like that at all. So see, as you can see this is playing with it quite a bit. So we'll do that. We'll make this into a system uh, and uh, you know you can always go in here and, and fine-tune the distance here but that, that's readable at least. And now we have a verse. Let's pull this down a little bit, give it some room there. Uh, that's pretty good right there. And we've got our verse 3. Uh, let not conscience. Now we've got some here where we've got you know a page turn right in the middle of that verse and I don't really like that at all. Um, I'm gonna try to at least get that much up there on that line. Ah, this is good. It gives us a little bit more room. I like this. So okay, so that's put us here. So you can see using this make into system tool is really really handy. And then if I wanted to, if I liked the spacing here, I could go ahead and select from here to here, make into a page, and we'd have that page two all figured out. That's a mess, so we're not going to do that. So we have this. Let's pull some space down here. Ah, oh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to tighten this up, kind of like we did before. Make into a system there. Um, got two lines we've got to get rid of. So we're going to tighten this up even more. Make it to a system. That's perfectly legible. That works. We could add another bar here. Make it to a system there. Probably put that all on that line. Now I'm going to pull this up. Yeah, so that got rid of one of those systems here. And now I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. Go ahead and say make into a page. And at this point, you know, 
a few a few uh, fine tuning pieces here, and we'd have this all done. So that's one way you can deal with this and getting everything to fit on two pages. You know, one page turn is not bad at all, especially since it doesn't go over a repeat that we're going to be doing that multiple times. Now, these are the obvious things. There are some other uh, there are other ways to do this. Uh, one of the ways one of the things I'm going to show you is the document setup dialog. Right now, I'm looking at this, and although it does fit, it's pretty tight. Um, I could actually scale this down quite a bit. Uh, let, so let me show you. If I do Command D, this brings up document setup, and then here you can see some some various uh, attributes for the document. This is what you play with right here: the staff size. Bump this down. Seven is a great size, uh, very legible. Uh, you could probably get away with six and a half, uh, and that gives us a little bit more room. So let's see how that that changes. Ah, oh, so it does give us a little bit more white space on the page. Uh, you know, you can always go down. If I'm going I'm to open that up again. If I drop it down to six, you can see you can get a, quite a lot of information on this page at six. So here's what that intro looked like at six. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the, the spacing. Very good. So compare that now with what that looks like at seven. You can see quite a bit tighter there. But that's another way to deal with this. So that was the document setup. Again, that's Command-D to get to that dialog. Uh, another thing that you might play with from time to time, I'm going to actually select everything. Let's say that I don't like what I've done. I want to go right back to where it was. That's over here with Unlock Format. This will take me right back to the original version where it was bleeding over here. Now, for some reason, you know, you might be looking at this and thinking, you know, when I get... Uh, extra staves on it. See how it just jumped down and I've got these extra systems. Let's say that this is actually full of music and you don't want it to spread all the way down the page but you want it to go maybe about two-thirds of the page and stop uh, and, and not have to fill up all the way down. The way you do that is actually in the house styles dialog which is going to be command shift E. So I'm going to open that up right now. So command shift E brings up house styles or engraving rules. House styles I think is what Isabelle has called it in earlier versions. But over here, over in staves, if I select that, this is what I'm looking for. Justify staves when page is at least 65% full. That's, the, that's what Sibelius does by default. If you want full and utter control of how these staves uh, move around on your page, you've got to change this number. And the quickest thing to do is just to pop it up to 100%. So now as I go to 100%, now I can completely control the spacing of any of these independently. I'm going to show you again what the difference is. Let's put it, let's open that dialog back, uh, back up, staves, let's put this back to 65, what it is default, and show you again how this, how this behaves. See how now the magnetic uh, behavior is turned on, and no matter what I do, if I want to lift this up, I'm going to pull this up, it doesn't do it. It actually just tightens up the distance. But if I go back in there, pop that up to 100%, I now have full control over how far apart these things are. And you can see it also messed up my first page. So it's a great thing to leave on, uh, but, but now you know how to fine tune these staff distances if you really, really want to. So that's it. Uh, basically today we looked at these layout tools, make into system, make into page. Uh, we also looked at the document setup, which was command D to get to this dialog box. Uh, and then we also looked at the engraving rules, uh, command shift E to bring that up and going into staves and playing with the justify percentage right there. So hope you've enjoyed it. Hope this is helpful. Until next time, thanks a lot.